After successfully restoring my wife's old Edison fireside phonograph, my neighbor Jim found his grandfather's phonograph stashed in his garage and asked me to get it running. It is an Edison standard from 1905, which had been in his grandfather's home in Turlock, California for many years. The oak case and mechanical components were in surprisingly good condition, in part because of the low humidity in the Central Valley. I fabricated a, a new witch's hat horn to replace Jim's, which is still hidden in his garage. Some parts were needed to get it running. The heart of these machines, the needle reproducer, was sent out to be rebuilt. The spring motor and gear trains were cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. One of these was a stirring rendition of John Philip Sousa's Liberty Bell March, which was published back in 1893. It was revived in the late 1960s as a theme song for the Monty Python's Fine Circus Show. While Thomas Edison was awarded a patent for the first device to record and playback sound in 1877, it wasn't until the 1890s when a spring-driven motor was developed making the phonograph practical. Edison was an inventor, promoter, and industrialist, and his name, photos, and patents are prominently displayed on the phonographs and recorded cylinders. With its restoration completed, the Edison will now travel across the street to Jim's garage and slumber peacefully until its next adventure sometime in the future.